this is my handmade RC boat and this is the controller. I can control these propellers using this controller, look. I'm gonna test it and then I will show you how I made this boat. By the way, all the files needed to make one of these boats for yourself is available in the description, including PCB schematics and code. Everything started with these templates. First, I printed the templates and paste some glue onto the foam board. Now I can easily stick the templates onto the foam board. Now is the time to cut the foam board. To build this boat, you will need several files, such as the PCB file, schematics, and code. All these files are available. I'll explain how to get these files in the description below this video. Now that my parts are ready, I can assemble my boat by gluing the parts together. Do you think the motor placements are good? Write your opinion in comments. In my opinion, the boat I built with these templates is not much good looking, so I decided to make it larger, this time without a template. From now on, I did it without a template. First, I make a tail for the boat to make it a bit longer. There it is, it looks much better now. Now I'll make the bottom part of the boat separate from the top part, all with glue and through trial and error with simultaneous calculations without a template. I measured the motor's dimensions to make a holder for them with a few pieces of foam boards and using a rotary circle cutter. I glued the holders to the bottom part of the boat and connected the top part of the boat to the bottom part. This is the result of the work so far. I think the water will penetrate to this good looking boy very easily because it has many pores so we have to use window screen and sealant to make it a bit stronger. I divided the fly screen into small pieces to stick them onto the body. First I apply sealant glue to the body and flatten it then stick the fly screen pieces onto the body. I do this for all parts of the body to have a smooth and uniform body. At this stage, I'm going to cut the separating plates between the top and bottom so that they get connected from inside. For this, I first use a washer to mark around the cutting area from the inside. After marking, I can cut the plates to prepare for the next step. I completely deplate the inside to reach the outer surfaces. Now I cut the fly screen from motor holders and for testing, I place the motors in their places. Looks good, now I solder the motor wires and transfer them inside the cabin with a fine hole. I fill the drilling point from the outside and inside with sealant to prevent water penetration. In the next step, I reinforce the inside of the boat with fly screen and sealant. Okay, that's enough for now. I'm waiting for our materials to dry a bit to continue. Now I want to make two covers for the front and rear parts. I do this with brown foam board. Now I have two covers that I can place some parts under, such as batteries. The next step is to design a circuit for our boat. One circuit for the controller and another circuit for the boat itself. Which, of course, the boat circuit has two front and rear parts. To start, I create new schematic files in Altium Designer software and place the necessary parts inside the schematics. Then, I make the necessary connections between the parts.
After making the connections, I transferred the parts to the PCB design environment where I previously designed the board shape and now it's time to place the parts inside that. For designing the board shapes, for example, the board shape similar to PlayStation controller, I first did it in CorelDRAW software and then transferred it to the Altium designer environment. I placed the parts one by one in the appropriate places and then start drawing the traces. I also checked the 3D model of the circuit to ensure there is no issues. After drawing the tracks, I get a printed output from the PCB files to make them. I do this for all three PCBs. I print the outputs and go for PCB manufacturing. For the first PCB, I cut a piece of bare copper clapboard into the appropriate shape and then clean it up a bit and then cut a piece of raw dry film, I mean the photoresist dry film. Then I stick it onto the copper clad board using laminator machine. Cutting the both PCBs are easy because they are simple polygons and they have no curves. But cutting the controller board which is similar to PlayStation joystick is not easy. So I have to use a different method. I use the CNC cutting machine for cutting the controller board. I forgot to mention that in a stop playing paper, I printed the films on transparent film to get better results. Also, uh, to make a PCBs using photoresist dry film method, we have to use a negative films like this instead of positive films like this. At this stage, I put the PCB in the UV light machine with the film we printed to expose it to light. I turn on the light machine and wait for the results. We have to wait for photoresist to activate. Now this is the result. The parts that are bold blue have been activated and the light parts have not been illuminated and have been covered from the direct light by the film. The next step is to place the PCB in sodium bicarbonate or baking soda solution to remove inactive photoresist dry films. It seems okay. Now I'm gonna do these steps for the other PCBs too. Now we have three PCBs on which our circuit designs are engraved. The next step is to use a very colorized solution to remove the extra copper sections on the PCB. After removing the extra copper, I have to wash the circuits and remove the active photoresist. To remove the active photoresist from the PCB, this time I use a sodium hydroxide or caustic soda solution. Now our PCBs are almost ready and just need to be washed and drilled. But since I have an Instagram page and I was sharing all the steps in the stories and also I care a lot about my followers opinions at the request of audience on my page, I want to move the motors from the under the water to the cabin. So I remove the motors and prepare their place for installing power transmission pipes. Now I have two pipes that I want to pass springs inside them for the motor power transmission of propellers. I fix the pipes in their place and again use sealant glue and fly screen for reinforcement of this part. The next step is to fix the pipes inside the boat. I cut the extra parts of the PCBs using a cutter and start drilling them. I use the toner transfer method to transfer the top overlay patterns onto the PCB so they look a little better and nicer. Now is the time to assemble the parts one by one on the PCB until the final work is done.
at this stage using a piece of plastic I got from inside the pen, I connect the springs to the motor. I used an axis from an old discarded DC motor to connect the springs to the propellers. I wrote the initial program and now the controller and motors are almost working. Now to reduce water penetration into the boat, I use blue spray paint for initial boat coverage. Because the motors are exactly under our sensitive circuits, I thought it would be a good idea to attach a piece of aluminum foil directly above the motors and connect the foil to the ground to reduce the noise emitted by the motors. Now our circuits are almost ready to be installed on the boat. The initial test shows that the power transmission system is working properly. Of course, until we test it in the water, we can't be sure of its performance. That's why I bought this plastic tube to test it and be able to do the initial test of the boat. Just to make the water more visible in this video, I use ink that is dissolved in alcohol to change the color of the water. Now is the time to throw the boat into the water. Unfortunately, I didn't have champagne. Otherwise, I would definitely have broken a bottle of champagne at the ceremony. Yes, yes, our boat is working just fine. Our boat worked, but we had a little water leakage and for this, I have to do another softening and painting stage and this time I will paint our boat in brown. Now is the time for a real test. You can get access to all files needed to build this boat in the description of this video. Anyway, my friend, this video is ending. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed watching this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel as well. See you in the next video.